everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ray and I make cash stuffing videos, bill swaps, budgeting, all that good stuff. So, hi, I know it's been a minute. Again, I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, I think it's been probably two months or so that I haven't uploaded a video. Um, just, I don't know, there's just one thing after another going on. I had family from Brazil come. They stayed here for like two months. Um, like we had one couple come, my cousins. They stayed for like three weeks and then they left. Another couple came and stayed for a month. So I've been kind of being their chaperone, like their Uber, just, you know, showing them Atlanta. And yeah, so bear with me in this video because it's probably gonna be a long one. Um, as you can see from the title, we are gonna be doing our May, June, and July paychecks all in one. I have already paid my expenses for those months, um, but you know, in order to be on track, cause we're already, actually we're already almost September. Um, today I'm filming this on Saturday, the 27th, I believe. So yeah, so I did update my planner a little bit in terms of my stickers but I didn't do like the whole expenses breakdown of all my four credit cards. Um, if you don't know, I do divide my expenses into my four main cards I use, which is my um, Amazon credit card, Best Buy, my checking account, aka debit card, and then my Discover credit card. But I just, you know, added it all up and, you know, figured out what I needed to stuff. So, let me go ahead and open it up to May. I'll just show you like the, uh, um, the what's it called? The layout of it so far so that you guys can see it. So here's May's. We've got two paychecks for this month. This is, was still when I was working my uh, two jobs. I'm currently at an um, accounting firm as an intern for them but beforehand I was working as a server at a restaurant um, so yeah so if you see some I actually may have like three paychecks or even four so for May we got 660 and 1111 if I deduct all of my expenses this is what it shows for each the total what I had for paychecks and then this is the total amount I'm able to have for that month so only 78 from May if we flip to June these are so cute um June was a good month I got four paychecks so we have 977 650 1403 504 and once we deduct all of those expenses for those four cards we had $27.93 that we were able to stuff, which is a pretty good amount. I didn't spend too much there. Moving on to July. This is my birthday month. I turned 23, you guys. I just, ugh, time is going by too fast. I'm so old now and it's insane, um, you know, how time goes so fast. So as you can see here, I did get paid technically four times because I actually got paid one day before my birthday from YouTube. Um, it's not a lot, but I did get $110, which I wasn't expecting at all since, you know, I've been gone for over two months, but I'm so thankful for that. Again, thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, we've got these 1653, 586, 1425, and I actually did not include my YouTube paycheck. I'm just gonna put that into my savings account. Um, for my birthday, if you guys were wondering, um, I actually went to the circus with my boyfriend. Um, he surprised me with it. I actually guessed correctly. I just, I love surprises, but literally I almost always ruin it for myself because I guess correctly where we're going. Um, but yeah, that was fun. I just spent time with family. Um, and then if you go to right here for July, that's what I spent. That's the paychecks. I had 22, 26 left over to stuff. And if you add all of those together, um, let me get my calculator here. It should have been 50.97, but I just rounded up $3 and um, I'm gonna be stuffing 5,100 today, which is 
a lot of money. Um, so yeah, let me put that to the side just in case I need it. And we can go ahead and close this up. Oh, if you're new and wanted to see what I meant by the layouts for my planner. So this is how it would look like. Okay, that's not a good example, but, but the paycheck breakdown would be here. And then my expenses would be right there kind of thing, you know, for each one. But yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is my paycheck breakdown. I just have it in this little notebook here um, because again, it just made time go by faster. Um, so 5,100 and this is what we're gonna be stuffing. But first of all, I completely forgot we actually need to be stuffing my wallet. So actually, let me go ahead and count this to see if we even have 5,100. Um, 2,000 of that will be um, fake $1,000 slips. So let's see here. I did already put them in order, kind of, you know, my OCD self. <clears throat> okay, and then we can put them in my on my tray. Okay, let me, I could get like a thumbnail from this. This is so much money. Alrighty, so I moved things around. Um, <laughs> I put this here just to, for decoration, that's my terror box. We'll get into that later. Alrighty, so we've got 2,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four thousand. Did I already mess that up? Yeah, let me switch these around. Put those in the back. Ah. What did I say? Okay, four thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred. Four thousand six hundred. Two, four, six, eight, seven hundred. Two, four, six, eight, eight hundred. Two, four, six, eight, nine hundred. Two, oh, we can do this. Fifty, seventy, ninety, five thousand. So that means we should have $100 right here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What? Hold on. We're missing a $1 bill, which makes no sense. Hold on. Let me go get one. Okay. So I've got a $1 bill, which is weird. I don't know how I messed that up, but... Oh, wow. And I don't even have room for all of this. It's okay. We'll just put this all up here because we've got so many bills. All right. And let me get my wallet. So this is the Moterm um, wallet. I have had this for a while now, but it's starting to get like dirty right here, like right in the front. I don't know if that's just going to be able to come off with the, maybe a little bit of soap or something but or maybe that's just because of the button here but yeah okay so i had to go in my notes and see what i had um actually put down for these to stuff but i've got it now okay so we will start with food food is going to be getting 40 dollars 20 40. But yeah, what else has been going on that I can like chat to you guys about? Um, man, I don't know. Like, there's just so much. <laughs> okay, so gas is going to be getting 50. And I think I need to get um, like new envelopes. Do you guys see how, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but these are so dirty. Oh, you can't really see that. So never mind. Forget what I said. <laughs> um, oh, and I actually already used this on gas so i'm just going to be depositing this 50 dollars bill later but yeah i'm so glad i got gas yesterday at um sam's club i have a membership now and it's been the best thing ever because gas was like 319 319 which is crazy um okay so miscellaneous is going to be getting just 10 Oh, my internship's going nice. Um, I actually had it extended till 
I said till May of next year, but we'll see how I feel at the end of December. <laughs> um, giving's gonna be getting eight because I don't know, like I like the people a lot and everything. Um, and eventually, obviously, I still have to finish school to get my bachelor's, and then I plan on getting my master's and everything like that for my CPA. But yeah, I've really liked it so far, and it's been it's been real fun. Okay, so that is it for my wallet. Oh, you guys, look, my grandma gave me a, a Chick Fil A gift card. I'm so excited. This is also here because I have no idea where my debit card is which I know is really bad, but um, I think I lost it at work and I called like the front desk lady at our building and no one turned anything in. So I think I'm just gonna have to get a new one. I am gonna double check though, um, like in my pockets of my clothes and everything like that on my pants, but can't find it, gotta get a new one. Um, I'm surprised I still haven't gotten one cause it's been about, I lo I've lost it since Tuesday. So yeah. Oh, and you guys, on my birthday, so I don't know if you guys know what main event is, but it's like a bowling slash arcade laser tag area or place here in Georgia. I don't know if you guys have it, you know, in other states, but we actually went, my, my coworkers and I actually went on my birthday. It, my birthday was a Friday and we had like an intern going away party and cause that was supposed to be my last day, but I got it extended. And it was so funny cause it happened to me to be my birthday. And I was like, how did you guys know it was my birthday? Like <laughs> kind of thing. Cause they, you know, celebrated it on my birthday. So for my birthday, I literally didn't work. I worked for like two hours and then we went to main event and just like partied and <laughs> we'll played laser tag, bowling, everything. It was a lot of fun. Um, but okay, we are going to move on to our pink binder. Okay, here we are. Did you guys miss my um, snap transitions? <laughs> um, okay, so here is the breakdown for it. Um, and then I will write the totals as we go as well on the next pages. Okay, so my envelope will be getting $200. Let me, I don't know why I have this right now. Okay, but yeah, do you see my nails? I need to get them redone. <clears throat> They're like this um, colorful, like line situation and I got almond shaped, um, which I usually don't get, but I, I really like how they look on my, you know, like finger shape, my nail shape. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get them done next week though. And I will definitely be needing this money. Oh, and I'm getting my lashes done also next week. So we got a lot going on. Alrighty, so, oh, I forgot, gotta update this. So that means it just has $200. Next is going to be, or maybe I should update these later. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna like do the totals later so that we don't have too much going on. All right, then health is getting $80. Oh my goodness, you guys, I have a whole story. So I went to the beach, actually, what was it? Like a week and a half, a week ago? About a week ago, okay. Um, and we went for like five days and whatnot. We stayed at this hotel and I came back with like little bumps on my hands, um, like red little bumps. They're gone now, thankfully. But like over each day, it just kept getting itchier and itchier. And I was like, what is this? Like, do I have like, in a, was it an allergic reaction to something? I don't have any allergies as far as I know. So for me, it was really strange. Um, and whenever I go places like hotels, Airbnbs, whenever we stay somewhere, I'm kind of like a clean freak and I bring my own sheets, like my own, um, blankets my own pillow everything like that and when i tell you i literally slept on top of the bed i didn't touch the bed it was made and everything i just took all the pillows off the bed put my sheets over it and used my blanket and put my pillow there and so i go to the doctor right because i'm like freaking out about these bumps on my arm and so i go to the doctor and you hear nearby 
and he's like yeah you got bit by bed bugs and i'm like are you kidding and i was like he was like did you travel recently or anything and i was like yeah i did um but i literally slept on top of the bed and they were like bunk beds so i don't know why and like we had obviously our family also sleeping like friends and stuff in the same room so i'm like why was i the only one to get bit kind of thing and literally the one that brought her own sheets her own pillow blanket and everything and he's like well i can't confirm it is like you need to go see a dermatologist blah 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 and because i had to ask him i wanted to ask him for like a you know like a daily or what is it called when you go and you get a paper like a review like a summary of your visit and he gives me my summary and it says like dermatitis and i'm like you did not say i have dermatitis i understand dermatitis is um you know rash of skin whatever but there's nowhere here that it mentions it was bug bites because i wanted to bring it up to the lady we you know rented the airbnb from the hotel from and he was like i can't do that because i don't know if it's bed bugs and i'm like what do you mean you just told me it was freaking bed bugs this video is gonna be long by the way i'm so sorry <laughs> and um so i was like well that's silly and I never even asked this, but he just goes, you know what? Just give her her money back. Cause I paid what? It was like 80 bucks. That's what, I guess that's why I put 80 bucks. I don't know. But yeah. So that was frustrating. Um, I called like a bunch of dermatologists and everything. And they were like, well, the only appointments we have are like in two weeks. And I'm like, well, I need help now. So days go by and whatnot. And I just... I just forget about it and I even got like an itch cream and all but by then all the bumps were gone so yeah I don't know what it was if it was bed bugs or not like I reached out to the lady in the hotel we stayed at and stuff and she had it looked at and she said there were none over there so I don't really know it was very weird but I do want to go to a dermatologist soon and yeah okay moving on <laughs> um health is getting eighty dollars so fifty oh my dog is barking like crazy 70 80 hold on you guys one second okay i don't know what she's barking for but as i was saying yeah that was fun to have to deal with okay so now health has 100 250 70 80 90 290 why didn't I just do another 10? Okay, whatever. It's fine. 290. And oh yeah, highlight of my day that day. Um, I got locked out of my car because <laughs> I left the keys inside. I was getting gas. And I don't know why. I always take my key. I, I always lock my car when I'm getting gas. So I left the car. But instead of locking it with my keys, like the key remote, I decided to lock it from the inside. So I literally just like pressed the button and it locks, leave my keys inside with my wallet. And that day I had literally pulled all this cash out and it was just all sitting there in my passenger seat. And luckily I was nearby my house, but I still had to wait like an hour and a half because my grandma wasn't home, no one was at home. And so she had to, I had to wait till she got back home, go in my room, get my um, backup key and yeah that was not not fun so let's see food oh if you guys are ogs you know this is my like very first one of my very first envelopes i had this in like a bigger wallet this was like one of my cash envelope ones instead of those pink envelopes that you just saw in my moterm so i brought this back because i wanted this here as like a grocery envelope and I know like I need to change the the lettering and stuff but I just wanted it here so that I could stuff it and it's got to have the rhinestones and everything but yeah and anything that is left over from like my cash envelopes I'm going to be putting it in here so it's going to be getting $50 and I actually did just go grocery shopping yesterday when I went to Sam's Club um and that's funny, I spent $50. So yeah, it's fine. I'll just grab it for my savings. So miscellaneous is getting 20. 
So we've got 220. Next is fashion. Fashion will be getting 174, which is a random amount, but it's cause like we have a random amount in here. So 150, 70, one, two, three, four. Alrighty, now we have 150, 75, 85, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200. So many smaller bills in here. I think I actually might use some of this money later on today when I finish filming this to buy myself an outfit for tonight. I have um, a birthday party to go to and I literally have nothing to wear that I haven't already worn like 10 times. Fun, we'll be getting 150, 150. Oh, I visited, so it's now has 200. I visited the Atlanta Botanical Garden the other day when um, my family from Brazil was here. And that was fun, I had never been there. And because we were such a big group, they actually ended up giving me like a member pass. So I can go now for free any day in the year for a year. <laughs> so that's awesome. I want to go when it's like Christmas time because they do, you know, the, the lights and everything like that. I don't get in for free, but it is discounted. Okay, so O, aka my boo thing, is getting $20. So now it has $170. Okay, next is gifts, and that is getting $130. Hmm. Whose birthday is coming up? 130. Oh, my brother's is coming up. I was like, why am I putting so much money in here? I don't know what I'm gonna get him, but I also need to get, you know, for the birthday party. It's a little kid's birthday party, but I need to go out and buy him a gift and I'll use some of this. So 150, 70, 90, 200 Zolaroos. Okay, next is Christmas. <gasps> oh, wait, I need to grab my like paper that goes with this. Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> so Christmas is getting 275 to make up for like the time that I've been gone. So 100, 250, 75. Let's organize this. Christmas now has 100, 200, 350, 420, 40, 65. 465? Yeah, 465. And in order to get that 275, I just did all like the lower amounts that I will color in in a bit. Um, then I also gotta get the paper for this one, which this is the, um, What's it called? Taylor Budgets 2022 is your year challenge. And, okay, sorry. I'm going to be stuffing 44 in here. So 20, 40, 1, 2, 3. W what is up with me, like, missing $1 bills? I'm genuinely confused. All right, then. So... One second, let me get another $1 bill. Here's my raggedy $1 bill that I don't know why I'm missing. Um, let me grab this money out of here. This is getting fat because of all the ones, which I will try to maybe do a condensing video soon. Yeah, it'd be a good idea. Actually, after this video, I'll probably do a condensing one. Okay, so now the 2022 Taylor Budgets Challenge has 50, 70, 90, 5, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2. 132, is that right? I don't know, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> um, so that means I have to color in two of these. So let me put this away because we're done with that and we will get to coloring. Alrighty, so I have every single color except the purple one. 
Oh my goodness, you guys. I think I might have left my purple highlighter at work. Hold on, let me look for it. All right, I found it. It was in my work bag. Let's do these first and then we'll do my Christmas one. Okay, and I'll just speed this up. All right, that is complete. Let's move on to the Christmas one. And I believe I have like which ones I need to be coloring in somewhere over here. Yeah, should be 18 of them. Okay, so after like an hour, I was finally able to color all of those in. Let's go ahead and now move on to my purple binder. Okay, so here we got the purple one. And now we're going to be doing $80 to travel. Um, so my cousin's wedding is actually in October this year in Brazil. And I've been invited to go and like I really want to go, but... I don't wanna go unless my boyfriend comes with me because I wanna take him. And obviously like he was invited as well. I wanna show him around, um, you know, in the country that I was born in. But he just got a new job and it's gonna be a little difficult with that because, you know, like he's just started and now he's asking for vacation already, but I don't know. I'm, I'm more a little bit different and my job's a, le a little bit more lenient, I believe, because I am hourly. I'm not, you know, I don't have a salary just yet. So yeah, so $80, 50, 70, 80. Um, but I really wanna go. He's like the only cousin I grew up with, really. He used to live here in the States, but they moved back a while ago and like they're the only really cousins that i grew up with him and, and his older sister okay so travel now has 100 2 3 4 5 6 700 50 70 90 8 10 25 8 25 and we also need to color the paper for this one as well so let me move this really quickly and what did I say? $80, right? Let's do pink. That's 40 so far. Let's do this. What did I say? 80? Let's do this little thing right here, this little cup. And we can bring this here back. Alrighty, now house is going to be getting 180. But yeah, I wanna go, and like the tickets are so expensive right now. They actually went down, but they're about like 1500 each, which is insane. <laughs> um, but I mean, like I've been wanting to go and I believe my dad is also going. So I'm gonna double check with him on that. But yeah, 50, 70, 80. I wanted my boyfriend to just like talk to his job about it because like it never hurts to ask. And I mean, it's not like we, like our lives are our jobs kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like you have to go out, travel, like live your life. You don't eat. I mean, like you don't live just to work, you know? Okay, so now, what is this? House has 1,000, 2,000, 1, 2, 3, 400, 50, 70, 90, 500. 2,500 dollars, woohoo. And of course, that 10K challenge um, that I'll hopefully finish by the end of the year will be going to this right here. Ooh, you know what I should get? I should get a 10K like slip. 
to be able to put this in here. Okay, so car is getting $50. Oh, did I tell you that? Probably not, because it's been a minute. But my car decided to act up while I was gone um, from YouTube. So I was going to work one day. Another story time. I was going to work one day, and um, I was probably like five minutes in, not even like the road right here by my house. And my car steering wheel decides to lock up. And obviously like I was freaking out for a little bit cause it happened for like 30 seconds. And then luckily we were going really slow and you know, it was a straight road. I didn't need to turn or anything, but having like 30 seconds. And I was like, you know what? I cannot, you know, cannot keep driving like this. So I go and make, I was able to make a U-turn, but the car also wouldn't accelerate. So like when you pressed on the gas, it just wasn't going. It was going maybe like two miles per hour, but slowly but surely I was able to make it back um, to my house, you know, in my driveway, parked it and everything. And I went to work in um, my grandpa's truck. <sighs> but turns out, apparently it was trying to tell me like, like it's going into limp mode as the, was it the car people said? <laughs> um, the mechanic and pretty much saying for me not to drive it. But turns out, it, it didn't happen again. I had some a mechanic come and he just changed the transmission all like he completely took it all out and put new one in and um, I don't know what else he did, but I spent like oh no, I didn't spend money on that because I was gonna pay it to my dad He had actually paid for it because I wasn't home But I was gonna pay him back, but he gave it to me as a birthday present but Yeah, it was like two hundred and fifty dollars or something and I was like, well, okay. Thank you <laughs> Okay, so car Oh, did I grab the 50? Yeah, I did. So car now has 250, 70, 90, 300. So yeah, at the time I didn't even have, you know, enough money for it. All right, so wedding, wedding. Oh, okay. It's not getting stuffed. It has 1K, which I don't know if you guys know, but this is for my best friend's wedding. Um, I'm her maid of honor. And so I'm in charge of planning the bachelorette, right? There's a whole lot of confusion going on with that because I don't know. It's just, it's just been a hot mess right now. Um, well, I did already buy stuff that deals with the wedding as in like the shawl that we bought for, to go to put over the dress. And I think I'm, what I'm going to do is like keep one of these little papers in here and just like put a thousand at the top and then like minus whatever I use, whatever I use, minus, minus, um, to see what I have left over because obviously I can't see that because I don't have any physical cash, like real money. It's just in the bank. Um, so that'll be a good, good idea to keep up with that. Um, dog will be getting $30. And I've decided to just stuff the same amount of dog as baby um, moving forward. They're gonna ha be having the same amount and gonna be um, receiving the same amount, I think. So 30, 20, $30. Dog now has 50, 70, 90, 100. So baby should also have 100 at the end. It's getting 40, 20, 40, 50, 70, 90, 100. Yep. Good to go. Ah, oh, the little heart came out. Emergency, we'll be getting $80. I'm kind of glad the house is so quiet other than my dog barking outside. Um, <laughs> but my grandparents were not home. They went out real quick and I was like, ooh, this is the perfect time to record. All right, but I have also been slacking because I could have recorded this whole like morning. Um, I didn't do anything but lay in bed and watch TV. Um, but yeah, that's me. So um, emergency has 250, 70, 90, $300. This is like the emergency cash fund I have. Um, school, will, whoa, there. Oh, okay. So as I mentioned earlier, I plan on going for my graduate's uh, degree, uh, my master's and that's not cheap. And also for me, in order to get my CPA license after I get my Mac, my master's, um, 
I need to pay for fees and whatnot. And it's roughly like, I would say a thousand dollars for fees. It's like 750 for all four sections. But yeah, this is what I'm saving up for. And I just want to have it there just in case. And who knows, I don't, I might use this money for something else, but until then we'll save up for it. So 450, one, two, three, 450. And now it should have 500. Yes. These are some crisp $100 bills. All right, that concludes this binder. Let's go ahead and move on to our 10K challenge. Okay, as you can see here, I've got my 10K savings challenge paper. Um, the total amount we're gonna be putting in it is $2,839. That should be May, June, July. That should be like 16 things, I believe. Probably, oh, I have it written here, so one second. All right, so I should have um, all of those. So we should end at, wow, I didn't even mark it off on here. I think I did it up until August, technically, so I could be ahead. So till the 188, let me double check that really quickly though. Is that the correct amount I said? 2839, yes, beautiful. So we're gonna be going ahead and stuffing all the way to this blue 188 right here. And this is the box that I, um, no, this is not the box I use. <laughs> Let me go get the right one. Hold this on. colorful rainbow one, hence the rainbow on the 10K challenge is the correct one I use. Um, 2,800, this should be at 800. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 800. 20, 30, 40? Why, what? I don't know what's happening, but if there's a $1 bill here, then that will be perfect. Okay, there's not. So, what should I do? I'll just put it in there. Why not? An extra dollar. And then when I have change, I will just fix it. Alrighty, so 200, I mean, $2,839 will be going into this 10K challenge. Let me organize all this money here. Okay, let's count it up. We've got one, two, three, four, five thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six thousand, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy five, eighty. Six thousand eighty dollars. Technically six thousand seventy nine dollars. But wow, you guys, that's insane. I'm almost there. I'm more than halfway there. <gasps> ah, that's so exciting. All right, so let me go ahead and put that back in there. Okay, so I had a little scare because I thought I st <laughs> it stopped recording, but it's because my phone battery is low. Um, okay, so this is going to take a minute. I'm going to speed up through it, but I'm going to just color all the way until the 188. Okay. Woo, that took a minute. Um, <laughs> that's what I get for being so behind. Um, next up, we've got our Terra box. Let me grab that. Okay, so as we can see here, we've only got $100 left over. So we're gonna be just grabbing, um, what's it called? Oh, let me see if there's a glare on this. Oh, no, it's good. So we're gonna be grabbing two $50 ones. So here's one of them. And there we go. Ah. Boom, and one more. Aha, cute. Got little balloon animals, rainbows. Alrighty, so that's it for the money that we withdrew. And 
so all that's left over and i don't know if you guys remember this is my birthday box i didn't end up using any of this money <laughs> um i never finished like the challenge for it um this was it it was 300 dollars for it but i just i didn't finish it and um ah hold on and so i think what i'm gonna do is from the money that i was able to save up here i'm just gonna be putting it into this um terra box challenge um so what i did is I don't know if you guys remember, the total for this is $2,222 by the end of the year. There's 100 envelopes labeled either $50, 2010, and then obviously two ones. So yeah, unfortunately, I was not able to do this one. Um, maybe next year I will, you know, restart this. But as for now, let's just see how much we've got in here. All right, so... I'll put that back there. We've got 20, 40, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. So $60 that we can let me put that up there. That we can stuff. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. So let's just grab some envelopes. All right, so we've got a $20 one. And honestly, I have no idea how much is even in this because um, I need to count like each envelope by itself. Another $20 one. Yeah, I think the most envelopes are labeled, uh, most of them are labeled 20. Oh, perfect, a 10. Next is, oh, we don't have that. So what do we need? Oh, we need a 10. There we go. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alrighty, that is it for that one. I'll probably find a $10 bill to replace that later because it's a little thick. Um, but yeah, I think that is it for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I always say this, but I'm going to try and be more consistent for you guys. And obviously for myself as well to keep track of my finances and my cash stuffing so I'm not over here stuffing over $5,000 worth of my paychecks. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.